next one, let's go on to our create a card. So let's bring these in here. So they're right at the front. Let's bring my set in and we're going to bring these in. So you can see here, what with the create a cards, if you uh, are maybe quite new or you've not heard of the create a cards before, what it is, it's one image, one die image. So within one pass through of your die cutting machine, obviously you can do that twice if you want to do the embossing, that gives you your card, your finished card. So all you need is your card blank, pop it through, and then your card is done and ready. Of course, if you want to be a bit more creative, if you want to have a wee bit more fun, then what you can do is you can cut into it, you can chop into it, you can change the sizes, you can do whatever you like. But the initial concept is just one pass through and you've got a card made and ready. So bringing in, I've got a few elements all here ready to go. So if I just bring my set back in and we're going to go for the bobble. So we're going to go for the ornamental bobble on this one here. So what we're going to do, taking this out, now what you'll see is it doesn't have an outside cutting edge. So what that means is once you cut into your cardstock, that will stay in place. If you want to chop it out, just take your guillotine, whether it's your larger one or your smaller one, and then you can just cut away the edges and that will give you your image. So bringing in our plates again. So what I'm going to do for this one here, same combination, so it's your cutting plate, it's your plastic shim, magnetic shim, and it's also your top cutting plate. Because we've got a lot of detail within this one, I always just like to put in my metal shim for this one. Try it without your metal shim, because you may not necessarily need it. I just like to give it a shot and try, just to make sure that all those bits cut out. So all that I'm going to do is just tape this down into place. So taking our low tack tape, then taking our plates again, and we're just going to go in and pop that through the Gemini Junior. So you'll have seen with these ones here, as well as the dies within the Poinsettia collection, these will all go through the Gemini Junior. The folders that we've got coming up as well, just shortly, they also go through the Gemini Junior as well. So if I then remove this and peel this off, so we can see, now that is all die cut just beautifully. So again, I'm going to bring that in for you to see just into the side here. So you can see all that detail is all die cut. Look at that. So as I always like to say, if you see the pencil line mark, if it looks like a pencil line, then you know that it's die cut beautifully. So just taking my mat and as my tool as well, and I'm just going to go over taken out all these wee bits like this so there we go you can see all these bits are coming out and then all that I'm going to do is pull these take my pokey tool and then all you're going to do is you're just going to go around all these wee bits so that you can see they're all poking out just beautifully just perfectly like that so then if we then just so you can see they are all popping out what I've then done is I've taken one beforehand and you can see that we've just trimmed that off, made that a wee bit neater and we've got that die cut. There you go. So let's get rid of these bits here so we can get them out of the way and tidied up a bit. And then we can crack on, make this card and then we can go back onto Facebook and see what everyone's saying. Right, so that was this one here. So that's got our parts here. So then all that we're going to do is we're just wanting to layer that up in a moment. So if I just take for this one, I'm going to take my dotty pen. So here with this one, you could be using your glue with your fine tip on them, or you can use your uh, stick and spray, and that will go and cover all this detail here within the dies. But just for speed, what I'm going to do is just come in and take my tape runner, so this bit of cardstock is just slightly bigger than this gold ball bubble layer. And then once again, all that I'm going to do is come along and I'm just going to work all my way around and just do a bit of matting and layering. And this time we've got a bit of our matte gold card. All these sorts of things you'll find on the website. So if I pop that on, then what we're going to do here is if I bring in my plates again, then bring in our cutting plate and we're just going to get the rest and we don't need our metal one for this one here. What we would then do is take our die again, 
and then it's kind of a bit like you're going to be paper piecing so what I want to do is this larger oval one here I would want to cut in gold so what I would just do is place that on place that on our plates and then cut that out that is then going to give us that so there you go you can see if we pop just a wee bit of color behind you can see so you don't just have to use the die as it is. What you can do is die cut that and then you can cut into it. So once again, what you can be doing is changing the colors as you wish and just chop into them. So take that out the way, move that out the way. So here, if I bring these in, what we've done is we've got these parts of the baubles that come within the creator card die. And then what we're going to do is take some more colored cardstock then for this one here what i want to do is make that green so i've already got that stuck down so then all that i'm going to do is just place that onto a bit of green cardstock coming in with our small snippy scissors then all that i'm going to do is i'm just going to trim all the way around so what i am doing is my hand with the scissors is staying still and I'm actually guiding the cardstock with my left hand here so I'm just guiding that round and just working my way around so this hand is staying the scissors are staying in place it's this hand here that's doing the moving so I'm moving that cardstock and then what I can do with this one here is just chop that excess off and then when you get to parts like that you can just work your way around like so then once again moving the cardstock then that now gives you a bauble, a gold bauble with the green background. So all that I've done next is done exactly the same with the other bauble, exactly the same with another bauble, and then there we go, we've done the one that we've just shown you there a moment ago. We've also done that small one that comes out too. So that's these parts. So then what we can do is start to bring this together. We've got a few die cuts and a few elements all ready to go. So if I bring that in, we've got our card blank here. As you can see just here, we've got the card blank. Then what we're going to do, bring this in as well as a wee border here that we've got just with ribbon. And we're going to use our tape runner. And what we're going to do is we're just going to line this up to the side. So if we move these bits out of the way for you to see, so lining that up to the side, then what we're going to do is take this one, so this is the layers that we've done, work our way around. Once again, we're then just going to place that on. So if I then take some of my 3D foam pads, so I've got my bundle here with me. So we're just going to take a few of these ones. If you've got your call out, all-purpose glue or if you've got your Collal 3D glue gel you can be using them so I've just got some of my large foam pads so all that I'm going to do is just place them onto the top and working my way across all of them taking this last one where I would just take a wee cut of one and place that on then bring in your sentiment in we've also got just a wee bit of ribbon so what we can do then is just start to assemble this, bringing it up like this by taking the backs off first. Then you're just going to, a bit like paper piecing, you're just going to piece that back over the top and work your way through all the other ones that you've just done. So this is a really cool and effective way to do it. Depending on the colors that you choose can look completely different. If you were to use black and gold, so that would look even more elegant and luxurious. So just popping that on, lining that up, and then taking the last bauble. And then all that we're going to do is fit this on. So I'm just going to turn that around for me to see, like that. Then what we're going to do is if we take this one here, so we'll just pop our sentiment just at the top there. And then again, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to take some of our tape runner. You would use your Collal glue gel or your hot glue. We're just going to place that on. And then there we go. That is how you can make, it's like your 3D different color, create a card. So that was using the baubles. So there we go. You can see if I hold that properly for you. 
and you can see that bit of height, that definition that you get with the top.